Hello everyone. The specific heat of water as we know is 1 calorie per gram degree Celsius. So what does it have to do with our life? Actually a lot. Let us see. If we look at the chart having specific heat of various substances then what do you see? The specific heat of water amongst all these substances is the highest and that explains many phenomena. A watermelon brought out of refrigerator stays cool for a long time and this is because it has very high water content. Water as we know has very high specific heat. Hence the temperature of watermelon doesn't rise too quickly. For the same reason, water is used for cooling as well as heating. Water is used in car radiator that is as a coolant because it is low on cost, easily available and it has a high heat capacity because of its high specific heat. It can absorb the huge amount of heat produced in the engine. Steaming is used as a method for cooking many delicious food which have a moist, soft texture and considered very healthy. As water has very high specific heat as well as very high latent heat, steam has lots of heat in it which helps to cook the food. High specific heat means water has to lose more heat in order to get colder. Because of that, big water bodies like big lakes, rivers don't get frozen easily and this is good for aquatic life. Oceans absorb a huge portion of heat from sun and act as a heat storehouse because of high specific heat capacity of water. The ocean also transports the heat to different regions and thus helps in maintaining a moderate climate. Not just high specific heat, low specific heat also has its applications. For example, mercury has very low specific heat. As we can see, here it shows it is equal to 0.033 calories per gram degree Celsius. So, its temperature rises rapidly on absorbing heat. Hence, when we touch a thermometer with something, the mercury of thermometer absorbs very little heat. Hence, the temperature of object doesn't change. But, the temperature of mercury rises quickly and, and it reaches thermal equilibrium very quickly. Thus, a thermometer can detect and show a change of temperature rapidly and accurately. You know, the utensils are made of substances with low specific heat. Metals have low specific heat, so metal utensils get hot easily. Thus, on heating a substance in a metallic container, the temperature difference between the metal and the substance inside it rises fast. Hence, to attain thermal equilibrium, the metal utensil transfers lots of heat to the substance in it and that too very fast. This is because the metals have low specific heat. Always remember a substance with high specific heat would change temperature more slowly than the one with low specific heat. Thus sand having low specific heat will cool or get heated faster than the water which has high specific heat. So we see specific heat is a very crucial concept. That's all for now. Bye-bye.